Hello, dear friend of Pisces. Uh, I am an astrologer. I am a tarot creator. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, um, please push uh, the bell uh, um, so you um, can arrive uh, my new videos uh, for the next time. I put uh, in, in my info box uh, every information about my contacts. I, I try to reply as soon as possible. Uh, please, if you know, you can watch uh, uh, even your ascending, where, um, where is your moon, where is your Jupiter, and where is your Venus. And now we can talk about uh, what uh, the stars offer for your month of July, dear friends of Pisces. And um, you will be very, uh, very strong, uh, very power. And uh, um, it's a month uh, uh, full of events. <coughs> I'm sorry. And now we are going to see day by days. The 1st of July, the sun will be in sextile with the Uran between your first fifth and fifth house, where the sun will conjunct with Mercury retrograde. Um, for this, uh, the people that has got some relationships, uh, and uh, the, these relationships uh, um, seems close, um, there will be a return of your, um, of your partner, and you receive uh, uh, very good news, uh, I think, by internet. From 3rd to 5th July, Jupiter Pluto retrograde will conjunct um, in the um, sector of your goals. And here, there's the change to, um, to, um, to carry on about your goal or to focus about your goal. Uh, that you want uh, to, to, to put an end. Um, the 5th July, the new moon with the lunar eclipse in your 11th house, where the, uh, the moon will be in trines with uh, Uranus and uh, the sun uh, will be sextile with Uranus. Uh, this is a good period. Um, very important important uh, per period for your job, for your work. Um, you can help uh, with uh, the new technologies, uh, with the internet, uh, social network, etc. You should pay attention because uh, in uh, this day, um, it's a very negative way between uh, the squaring uh, about Mercury and Mars uh, between uh, the second and five house. Uh, first of all, Mercury is, uh, has got the responsibility of your transports and so pay attention, pay maximum attention uh, to drive. Uh, for instance, if uh, someone wants overmatches and uh, you have got uh, the priority, you can leave her or leave him and don't give a fuck. Uh, there are um, discussions between uh, your parents, uh, between uh, your kids, uh, for example, and uh, try to keep uh, the maximum balance. Uh, for the single person, it's not a good peer, um, period to start uh, new uh, relationships. From 6 to uh, 14th of July, the Sun will be in trines with uh, Neptune between your 5th and 1st house. And uh, um, the single people has got many, many chances to, to know someone, uh, always to check this new person. Uh, maybe this person um, could be um, uh, already in another relationship, but pay attention. Instead, if uh, someone has got a relationship with, you, with your partner that uh, as partners uh, doesn't satisfy, you can uh, uh, put an end in this relationship and uh, look around. The 9th of July, my birthday, there's a basic style between Mercury and the Moon and Uran between your first, third and five house. The, this is a, um, a phase very harmonic um, 
and can give you the opportunity to think, to build your future. Uh, you can uh, build, you can uh, think about your business, your future business, and uh, uh, you can make also um, a new course, uh, for example, online. For the single piece person, there's a comeback of your soulmate. You will be very happy in this period. Or um, can arrive a new message or email unexpected in this day. The 10th July, the moon will conjunct with Neptune in your first house. So, maximum attention with the alcohol. Um, pay attention with uh, don't take too much medicines or don't smoke uh, much cigarettes. Um, try to eat uh, in an uh, ill, ill way. The 12th July, the, way, the, um, the day is very nervous because uh, the moon will be in the zodiacal sign of uh, Aries in your second house. Um, enemy sign of, uh, of the moon and uh, it uh, conjunct with, conjuncts with the March and the black moon, the Lilith. Pay attention with your money, try to don't spend and try to defend your uh, economical position in this day. From 13th to uh, 15th July, um, Jupiter and Pluto retrograde will make the opposition with the Sun between your 5th and 12th house. And uh, you can have some problems uh, with uh, your opi uh, personal opinions or public opinions. So try to don't go to um, public events. Um, where, where there, there are many many people, um, because you can um, you can um, make uh, uh, negative discussions. The 20th July, the new moon in your five house, your um, in your um, zodiacal sign of Cancer, but all of is in opposition with Jupiter, Pluto. And Saturn, and despite the, the new moon, uh, it's not a good day to make uh, uh, new romantic meetings, uh, for example. Um, if uh, you, you chat with, uh, by social media with a person, it's better to don't, to don't meet. Uh, you can do it uh, in another, in another day, so wait for some days, uh, because the Mercury retrograde will take again the direct gear and um, uh, it will be a, um, a positive day, positive uh, uh, period for the meetings. The 23, 23rd sorry, July, Mercury will be in sextile with Uran between your third and fifth house and uh, um, there are uh, new meetings, uh, new romantics meetings, uh, love at first sight, and uh, um, we, you have got the changes to study, um, to find a favorite uh, course, for example, that you, you wanted to do. From 27th uh, to 31st July, um, very negative uh, days uh, for um, all these uh, uh, five days uh, because there's a tau squaring between Mercury, Jupiter, Pluto and Mars in your fifth, second, second and eleventh house. Uh, tau uh, is um, a nervous uh, figure. Um, you must uh, to keep uh, the balance with your kids. Um, try to stay, to be safe with your kids in this particular period. Don't go in, uh, in um, public uh, places, uh, public uh, parties, uh, public concert, or um, some meetings or some events. Uh, it's uh, better to avoid uh, conflicts. Uh, it's better to stay at home if you can. 
The 1st July, just only for a day, will be activated the Navarro Tau uh, screening uh, between Venus, Moon and Neptune uh, between your first, first and third house. And um, it can create a um, critical situation about your job. Uh, try to keep the balance uh, um, between uh, your colleagues, your managers, your bosses. Uh, be quiet, be patient, be, be careful. Protect your money. And if someone ask, uh, asks you about your family, about uh, your economic posi uh, position, uh, please protect this topic. From 26 to 31st July, it will be the squaring between the Sun, Uran in your first house. Pay attention uh, to drive, pay attention mostly to the travels in airplane, and try to keep good relationships with all, with everyone. Thanks, that's all, and see you for the next videos. Bye bye.